things. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, St. James and St. John's Facebook page this morning uh, as we uh, meet together for morning prayer at the beginning of this week. Today is, if you're not sure, Monday, <laughs> and it is the 1st of June. So, uh, welcome to the summertime, I think. I don't, I'm not sure when summer actually is supposed to officially begin, but uh, certainly. I would say this is summer. And we're joined here, you can't see him, but I might turn around. We're joined here by a, a very esteemed uh, uh, guest this morning, and that is uh, Matt Smith, Doctor Who. I think you can see him, if I turn him around there. Who is our, uh, will be our uh, entry into the uh, Havering Attibauer Scarecrow competition later today. He's, got a, he's in our kitchen at the moment, but he'll be moving up to outside the church hall later. Um, so if you're going to be uh, going up towards Havering Atterbauer for a walk later on, then maybe just have a look outside the front of the church hall on the green, and you might see Matt Smith there with one of his uh, arch-rival enemies as well, actually, I think. <laughs> so, welcome. Hope you've uh, been enjoying the sunshine. I know that the news is that the weather is likely to change. We're going to be getting more northerly winds coming down. Um, later this week so that things will be cooler and also a, a risk or a chance of some uh, rain later in the week so enjoy this early part of the week while you can the sunshine is expected to say I think for today and tomorrow certainly so welcome uh, we're going to be using as we usually do the um, uh, daily prayer app from the Church of England um, and um, the, uh, the as usual sorry I'm just trying to find my own app here as usual uh, I will lead uh, and Emma will um, follow and if you follow uh, with the, the uh, words or the way in which Emma is uh, uh, reading so that's, you'll get that as we go along I'm sure Today we mark uh, the visit of the of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Elizabeth. The visit of Mary to Elizabeth after Mary had received the um, annunciation from Gabriel that she was to be the means by which God would um, come into the world through uh, her son Jesus. Uh, then she went off to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who also was pregnant. And with child, of course, with the one who would be the one who would prepare the way for Jesus' coming, John. And so we're marking that event in the church's calendar today. Um, okay, so let's move on with morning prayer. And just start by quietening our own hearts uh, before God. Having a moment at the beginning of this week to lay before him all that maybe we uh, are worried about this week or whatever it is, whether we're worried about or excited about or thinking about people that are on our hearts, just that moment of silence come before God though to say you are our God. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, and as far as he, ha he sets our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. 
We flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 85 Lord, you are gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offence of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury and turn from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his generation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in the our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory, oops, sorry. Psalm 150. Hallelujah. O oh, praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancers. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Keep going with that. A reading from 1 Samuel 2, 1 to 10. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies, because I rejoice in my victory. There is, no one ho there is no holy one like the Lord, no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread but those who were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to shell and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low. He also exalts. 
He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honour. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might does one prevail. The Lord, his adversaries shall be shattered, the Most High will thunder in heaven, the Lord will judge the ends of the earth, he will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. Send wisdom forth from your holy heavens, from the throne of your glory, send what is pleasing to you. O God of our ancestors and Lord of mercy, you have made all things by your word. By your wisdom you have formed us, to have dominion over the creatures you have made. To rule the world in holiness and righteousness, and to pronounce judgment in right, uprightness of soul. Give us the wisdom that sits by your throne. Do not reject us from among your servants. For we are your servants, with little understanding of judgment and laws. Everyone who is perfect among us will be regarded as nothing, without the wisdom that comes from you. With you is wisdom, she who knows your works and was present when you made the world. She understands what is pleasing in your sight and what is right according to your commandments. Send her forth from the holy heavens, from the throne of your glory send her. That she may labour at our side, and that we may learn what is pleasing to you. For she knows and understands all things. She will guide us wisely in our actions, and guard us with her glory. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Send, send wisdom, wisdom forth, forth from your holy heavens, heavens from the, the throne, throne of your glory, glory send, send what is pleasing to you. A reading from Mark's Gospel, chapter 3, beginning at the 31st verse. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And Jesus replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to send mercy on our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. And now we'll have that time of 
open prayer. And uh, Emma and I will probably say some prayers, but we'll also leave some silence, a little bit of quiet for you to speak out your own prayers, whether that just be some names of people you want to bring before God or whether you want to speak out a prayer yourselves. Uh, but we'll leave that time for you now as well. So Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for this new day, for the glory of your creation that we see around us, that reminds us of your presence. Uh, Lord, that you are not the God who came and created and left the earth and wanted to leave it alone to, to run its own way, but you are a God who is intimately involved in all that you have created and including our own lives that you want to be there at the heart of those as well father pray that we would open up our whole own lives to you more fully this day open our hearts our minds our souls to you lord give us strength and courage to face what is ahead of us in this day whatever that might be give us wisdom and insight Give us compassion and peace and love and joy too. Lord, we pray for all these things. For your kingdom to come in our own hearts, in our own places that we are living in today. Your kingdom come, we pray. Father, as the uh, world, as we know that today is a, one of those dates that the government has set for a further opening up of, of things in terms of the uh, way in which people can, well, things that can be opened, including the schools, of course, today. We do pray today, Lord, for the schools as they start that opening up process, whichever, whatever it is that they're doing in individual schools. Lord, we just pray for that, that they'll be able to uh, implement these, the uh, safety restrictions that they need to implement as best as they can. We just pray especially for those young children who are going back to school today who perhaps just don't grasp exactly what's going on in terms of the need to perhaps not run around and be with their friends in the way that they would have been before this lockdown. Um, it's going to be hard for them to understand what's going on in their school. But Lord, we just pray uh, you know, that, that the teachers would be patient with them calm with them and that they would be listening to their teachers as well pray especially for those children perhaps who have special needs who particularly find it difficult to understand and to cope with what's going on and pray for those particular situations in, in particular schools where that is a difficulty Lord just give uh, keep people safe we pray today Father, we pray uh, too for the churches as we can continue to plan for what may be the opening up of churches for uh, public worship again, perhaps at the beginning of July or soon after that perhaps. Lord, give us um, wisdom in our planning and insight as well that we would again you know, figure out what it is that we need to do to keep people as safe as possible, uh, to reduce the risks as far as possible as we can. We pray for us all as individuals as we decide or think about what it is, risks that we're willing to take. Even though the government may be saying you can do this, this and this, maybe in our own lives we need to say, well, that's too much of a risk for us. Lord, help us to have the wisdom to know what is best for our own, uh, our own sakes. And Lord, you know, where we need to take risks, Lord, give us strength and the courage to do what we need to do. Father, we continue to pray for those who are uh, suffering at this time because of the coronavirus, those who are ill with the disease at this time, especially those who are in, seriously ill and in hospital, and that those who, in particular who are on ventilators at this time. Pray, Lord, that you give all those who work working with those patients again we're just praying thank you for their their commitment their um, service that they're giving to all of humanity in doing this as well as those individuals 
Lord, we just thank you for them. Pray for them. Bless them, we pray, Lord. And give them all that they need to do their jobs well. And of course, we continue to pray for those who have lost loved ones at this time to the virus. Lord, just bring that comfort and healing that people need to know following the loss of, a, of one who has been close to them in their own lives. Bring, bring that healing balm, we pray, Lord, into their lives. We pray too for those who perhaps are facing difficulties to do with health that's not necessarily coronavirus related exactly, uh, directly, but is being affected by the fact that there are such restrictions. And we pray at this time, especially in our own community, for, for Margaret uh, Fretwell, with her arm, broken arm. Just pray for her and her family as they work out what is the wisest way forward in terms of being able to care for Margaret. Lord, we pray this in your name and all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. So Lord, <clears throat> we continue to, um, to just be thankful for your presence in our world and in our lives and in our families and and in this situation, um, we've seen so many witnesses of your spirit in this situation. And um, we thank you for that celebration of Pentecost, that outpouring of your spirit. And pray that that will continue in, in our homes and in our communities and in our world. Just pray that that light and that spirit will be stronger than the darkness that um, we've witnessed in the world as well this week. Um, more uh, racist attacks and just pray that you will give us the courage and the words to speak out against those things that are, we know are wrong in our world just give us those words we pray and um, yeah, we do pray for, um, for families this morning again just pray for wisdom um, as people make decisions whether to send their children back to school or not and just pray that um, that people will just be respected for the decisions that they choose to make. As David says, we all have our own levels of um, fear and anxiety and what, of what's safe. So we just pray that you will give people peace and wisdom in the decisions they make about their children. And we do pray for those children going back today and, and also for the children who are not going back today, <coughs> either because um, they've chosen... The parents have chosen not to, or they're not in the year group that are going back. Just pray for all families that you will continue to bless them. And we pray also for um, early years and childcare settings who might be taking children back again today. Just pray for the um, all the risk assessments and safety that they've put in place, that they will be able to manage the children, and that it will be a good experience for those children that they will enjoy being back in familiar place with familiar faces and uh, we do pray for those young families as uh, June sees the start of the national month uh, of prayer for toddler parent and toddler groups we do pray for those groups and we thank you for all the work they do in our communities for those people who give their time voluntarily to um, to make those places where families can connect and we know how important they are so we thank you for those this morning and um, we pray especially for our our neighbours in Barking and Dagenham um, Borough as uh, they're the focus of the London Prayer Marathon this morning so we do pray for those groups that we know we just thank you for for the many leaders and volunteers out there um, and churches providing that space just thank you that you are in the midst of all these things. Amen. Amen.
And so, Father, we thank you for the promises that you have given that when we pray in faith, you listen to all that we have to say, that you're open to our hearts pouring out to you, whether they be pouring out in joy and praise or whether in sadness, even in anger perhaps, Lord, whatever it is that we pray, that you are the Lord who Amen. listens. And that your answer comes no matter whether we see it initially or whether we wait, have to wait to see and understand what your answer is. We know that you answer our prayers, Lord. And so we join our, join our prayers together as we say, as I say, the words of the collect for today. Almighty God, by whose grace Elizabeth rejoiced with Mary and greeted her as the mother of the Lord. Look with favour on your lowly servants, that with Mary we may, may magnify your holy name and rejoice to acclaim your, her Son, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father Amen. in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that concludes our morning prayer for today. Uh, and just to let you know that uh, we'll be continuing on with our streaming and so on this week and starting some new things as well. Um, just to say that uh, on Thursday last week we had our uh, first, uh, first trial of doing a morning prayer via Zoom and it went well. Uh, uh, so we're going to do that again. But we are going to move the time of it. We're going to shift it an hour so that we do morning prayer at 10. And that takes about half an hour. And then we're going to leave the Zoom meeting open for another, I don't know, whatever time we want to really, half an hour or 40 minutes or even an hour, so that people can perhaps just have a, a share of coffee together and a time and a natter then. Um, and a couple of other things that are happening this week which are uh, well not necessarily new but out of the ordinary certainly first of all at four o'clock on friday there will be a zoom meeting for a, a ladies get together <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah so that's at four o'clock and verity and i think supai are sort of going to be hosting that i'm going to set them up as co-hosts on my zoom and i'll leave the meeting because i won't be in it you won't be fine. Uh, but um that means that they can then run the meeting themselves from their computers. Um, so, yeah, so if you, we'll send out the uh, thing for that, we'll send out the code for it, but also we'll send out an, an invite in case you don't have the Zoom app yourselves. Do talk to Verity, let Verity know if you need to get the, the Zoom app and everything. Sorry, not to get the Zoom app, but to get the uh, have the invite sent to you so that we know that we need to get it out to you if you haven't received it in any other way. Um, yeah, and the other thing, exciting thing, I think, is that we're hoping, so long as everything goes to plan and we can do this, that the young, our young people are going to put together some filmed bits from their own homes. We're going to do a service on Sunday, which is not a live service, uh, but a... A recorded service which we can then clip together clips from different uh, different of our young people our young people doing different parts of the service we'll we'll uh, edit that together so that's what you'll see on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock starting at 10 o'clock will be a worship led by our young people so that's a great new innovation hopefully that we're doing in terms of our our live stream or our streaming of services um, Bedtime and bedtime prayer as well is the thing I forgot about to say. On Friday evening at six o'clock, so two hours late after the ladies' meeting, we'll be doing bedtime prayer um, as a Zoom meeting as well. 
So again, if you will put together, we'll get that set up and everything with the code will be sent out. If you need to have an invite sent to you, do let us know. Let me know perhaps at my email address or Emma's email address. And we'll make sure that you get it if you haven't received it in any other way. Okay, so those are the things that will be coming out. As I say, the information will be coming out today about those, just to reaffirm that by email. For those of you who are on the email, and perhaps we'll perhaps photocopy that email and send it out on the WhatsApp and things as well, just so that the people who perhaps aren't on the email get things. It's difficult to try and make sure everybody gets things, because not everybody's on everything, if you know what I mean. Um, what else to say? I think that's it, really. Have a good day. As I say, if you can go for a walk in, in, uh, up in Havering Atty Bower, maybe go up and have a look at the... Um, the not just our uh, scarecrow, but the scarecrows that are around the village. I think there are, uh, outside the houses, as well as on the green, there will be uh, different scarecrows. So you can have a walk up and down the road there, have a look at what people have got outside their houses. Okay, so take care. God bless. Emma's on furlough now, by the way. So she's got nothing to do. She's <laughs> <laughs> not true. Uh, plenty to do. I've got a furlough to do anyway. Okay, take care. God bless. And we'll see you. Bye. Bye.